I'd like to answer a question that I've seen a couple of times now. People say, I don't know if I'm qualified to homeschool my children. And I thought that uh, to answer this question, it would be kind of appropriate in sort of a weird way to uh, do the video inside of our school bus. <laughs> so keeping our firewood in the school bus here ready for winter. But this school bus is the only one that Oliver here has ever ridden in. We drove it down to the property he was in, had the whole bus to himself. Okay, quite a, a good situation there. And, um, but this question comes up and I just think to myself, okay, there's a lot of problems within the body of Christ out there right now, unfortunately. And I'm just going to say some things very bluntly and very straight, and it's probably going to offend people, but truth always does. Um, nowhere in the Bible does it say that we should be married by the state. You go to some church building, the pastor stands up and he says, uh, you know, does the whole marriage ceremony thing, and he, at the end he says, now by the power invested in me by the state of, fill in the blank, um, I pronounce you man and wife. Where's that at in the New Testament? It isn't there. Marriage is an institution between God and a man and a woman, not God, the state, and a man and a woman. And here is why this is a problem. You get married by the state, the state gives you a license to be married. The state gives you the privilege to be married, the right to be married, whatever you want to call it. Now the state owns the fruit of that marriage as well. So now the state can come along and the state can say, you need to educate your children at one of our facilities. Um, which is insane. 1963, the Bible was taken out of classrooms. Sunlight's reflecting off something here. That's why you're seeing this on my face. Um, the Bible was taken out of the classroom. And uh, you say, that's a bad thing. Well, it is a bad thing. But you know what's worse? The fact that there were Christians that said, uh, we're going to continue keeping our children in that public school system. Even after the Bible was removed. Why would you send your children to public school knowing that the Bible is not going to be taught to them and knowing that they're going to be taught things that are contrary to the Scriptures to confuse them? And especially now, there's no justification at all. You want to come out and tell me you're saved, you're a good Christian, and you send your children to public school? I don't believe it. Sorry, but I don't believe it. You say you're being judgmental? Absolutely I'm being judgmental. Absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt. With all the uh, forced stuff during the uh, scandemic years, the um, school shootings, all the other stuff, the, the sodomy, all this other, you know, these the perversion that's being taught to children. You have no right putting your children into school. Uh, do what you need to do to get them out of there. So, but the problem is, you want to try to go along with the state and what's legal and whatever else. And you're so invested into the system. You have your state marriage license. You've gotten your children, had them at the hospital. They have birth certificates. They have social security numbers assigned to them. They're creatures of the state, essentially, owned by the state. And now you say, well, how do we educate them, Brother Brian? What are we supposed to do? Well, you dug yourself into a pretty bad hole, is the long and the short of it. And I'm really sorry about that. Our son here, just to tell you what we do, and you have to do your own due diligence, figure it out for yourself. Oliver is not a creature of the state. Uh, born at home, not vaccinated, not even once. Uh, I delivered him. Free birth, natural free birth. And how do we educate him? Very simple. By allowing him to be part of our daily lives. Teaching him this very place right here. There's a bunch of tables and things in here. When he was a little boy, he was three years old when we built this. When I was building this, tore all the seats out and everything else. He's in here playing, having a great time. Actually got a free matchbox that was down in the one seat. It was a pretty good deal. And uh, I think you still have a little blue car or something. Yeah, I still have it. I've kept it the whole time. Yeah. And um, took the seats out. After that, we had to build a bunch of tables and things. We used to cook in here in the summer months. And um, I would say to Oliver, I'd say, okay, I need three screws. And he'd reach into the container and he'd get out three screws. And I'd say, okay, I need, I need uh, a couple more. And he'd say, how many? And I'd say, well, I need five more. And he'd go in and he'd count. He's learning how to count by getting me screws to help build this. Um, you know, there's things we have to work on with Oliver. He's not real great with a tape measure right now, but he's learning. He's, he learned how to split kindling in this very school bus. Um, there's a lot of skills that he learned how to do in this place. Um, he's helped out with cooking over the years. Um, 
he's read hundreds of books now. Um, you, th this thing of we have to have this curriculum that's approved by the state. You see that you've gone really far in the wrong direction. And are there ways to get out of it? Yeah, there are. And you need to research, research that for yourself. You see, I can't give you perfect advice on how to get out of that whole system because I was never in it. So you're going to have to find somebody out there that's in the system that was married by the state that had social security numbers and birth certificates for your children and whatever else, and you have to find ways to get out of it. Or you can just stay in that whole system and worry about the homeschooling rules and regulations of your state and whatever else. Um, but just to say something again, what is the purpose of King James Video Ministries? It's not counseling. I am not here to provide marriage counseling or counseling on how to raise your children or whatever else, and my wife isn't either. All right, uh, We are not here to be experts in natural free birthing. We had one child by means of a natural free birth. I'm not an expert. I will tell people the basics, but you have to do your own research. You have to do your own due diligence. All right. Um, we are not experts in natural health or healing. We're still learning things ourselves. King James Video Ministries is exactly that. Videos based on the King James Bible. That is this ministry. I don't marry people. I don't conduct weddings. I don't do funerals. I don't do baptisms. I don't do any of that other stuff. It's, I'm not uh, a pastor in the sense of, of I have a local congregation and I take care of them and whatever else. I don't do that. I provide doctrinal teaching and preaching on the subjects that I know, subjects that I research. If my, if my wife does some research, um, then I'll do a subject or I'll do a teaching on that. But things that are very relevant and important to the body of Christ, that's what I preach about. That's what I teach on. And that's why this ministry is very unique. So the very simple answer to your question is, um, if you are doing things the wrong way, then yes, you have a problem. How do I educate my children? Well, you have a real big problem there. If you did things the right way, the Bible, New Testament way, well then, you really don't need this video. Because you've already figured it out. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense to people. But um, don't put your children in one of these. Okay? These school buses. Homeschool them. Have them be part of, their, of your daily life. Uh, Oliver here. Um, there is no such thing as time off from school. He doesn't have a summer vacation uh, as a homeschooler. He's in school all the time. We're always teaching him. We go to museums. We go to different places and things. We, we, uh, you know, he loves airplanes. We go to the airport. <laughs> he loves airplanes. We get him books that he can read about the history of airplanes and, and whatever else and study the mechanical systems and things. What's the difference between a turboprop and, and uh, a jet, you know, type? Turbojet or whatever, or is it turbojet or is it just jet? Well, there's turbojet. There is a turbojet. Yeah. Yeah. So. And there's a turbofan, I think, too. Yeah. There's different types. You're still learning, but you're learning a lot. And um, just finished not too long ago a 430-page book on World War II, mm -hmm. eight and a half by eleven book. Okay, so about that thick. <laughs> Read the whole thing, and. Um, that's what he does. He learns. He studies. And um, when I was in public schooling, a lot of the time I got through the class just simply because I did what I had to do to get through the class, but I wasn't actually learning. So, you know, at his age, he's a lot smarter than I was at, at that age. Um, there's no special secret thing that I have to teach my child trigonometry and, and uh, you know, whatever else, you know, algebra and advanced algebra and, and um, quantum physics or something in order for him to graduate or whatever. That stuff is a bunch of nonsense. Okay. Later on, if he wants to study it, he can study it. But you really don't have a whole lot of application for that in life. So, you know, oh, well, but that's, they teach that in public school. Well, of course they do. Public school is primarily just filler. You go there and you learn the same stuff over and over again. And of course, you know, students nowadays, they can you know, cheat on their tests and whatever else, just Google the question and get the answer and just fill it out. And, oh, hey, you're a grade 4.0 student or something. <sighs> uh, nonsense. So um, hopefully that answers the question. And uh, you have to do research, okay? If you're a parent, you have to do some research on your own. I can't answer everything for you. I do my best to put out videos teaching people Christian doctrine and whatever else, you know, give you faith in the Word of God, the King James Bible. But... Um, 
a lot of things you just it's a personal relationship between you and the Lord so that is going to be it thank you very much for watching